everyone, so today I'm going to do a quick short video on how I kind of grew my eyebrows and the method that I've been using since um, I kind of stopped threading is actually quite easy and quick to do. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to quickly show you how I kind of groom them because they're super messy at the moment. I also want to say a huge, huge thank you for helping this channel reach 5,000 subscribers. Like, I just hit it recently and it's just literally so surreal. But I will be doing a giveaway soon. Um, I was thinking maybe like giving away a palette or something. It's going to be a small giveaway. But I always want to try and give out things and say thank you. So um, let me know in the comments what you would like me to give away. That would be so helpful. But anyways, um, we'll just jump straight into this video and I hope you guys find it helpful. So the first thing that you're going to need is some hair removal cream and I like to use this Nair Argan Oil one and then you're going to need some cotton wool pads as well, a pair of tweezers and also some cotton buds. Now I like to use um, this hair removal cream, uh, I just think it suits well on my skin but please remember to patch test on this on your skin like on your hand or a little patch on your face to see how you react to it because even if it says for dry to sensitive skin, it, uh, my sister reacted to it and it literally burnt some of her skin off. So please be careful with these type of products. Um, but as you can see, the product itself has like a weird brush applicator. So that's why I like to use um, the cotton bud to get a more precise application from it. Um, you want to kind of take some product off um, with the cotton bud and then basically carve your eyebrows with this. You want to try to do this as quick as possible because I don't really like to leave this product on my face for too long. Um, but also, don't mess up. If you feel like you did something wrong, wash it all off straight away because it's just going to end up removing that air, that part of the hair. So basically, um, if I mess up, I just wash it all off and then make sure that you wash it properly and then I just do it again and yeah use um, little strokes so that you're sure not to make any mistakes it's like when you do an eyeliner you l use little strokes and this is just going to basically help you carve your brow correctly um, and I'm just putting it in areas where I feel like I just want the hair to be removed like on the outer bit as well even though my sister did react to this product my skin works completely fine with this um, it just depends on you so please please make sure to do a patch test and then wait 24 hours before you kind of do this process and i also like to carve under my brow like as if i was cleaning up with concealer when i'm when i fill up my brows and again i'm just using tiny strokes and being really careful not to go in areas that i don't want the product to be and then i'm just going to set my timer to three minutes and you want to keep it for exactly three minutes or even maybe less if you want to and then you want to take a little bit um, of water and put it on the cotton pad and then wipe it off and as you can see that's the hair that comes off and it looks gross but um, you want to put a, you want to apply a little bit of pressure and kind of wipe the hairs off and they'll just come off really easily and the reason why I like to do this recently is just that it cleans up your brows really really well You don't want to wet the pad completely, just like the tiniest amount. And when you're done, make sure to wash your face properly with some face soap or something and then pat dry your face off. Now it doesn't take all the hairs um, off sometimes, so what you want to do is take your tweezers and kind of take the sparse hairs that are here and there that didn't come off with the hair removal cream. And here I'm just moisturising my skin and yeah, that's all I really do to kind of like groom my brows. As you can see, they're super clean and well formed. My left brow's a bit dodgy with the sparse area, but there you go, that's all done. So that's really how I grew my eyebrows. I really hope that you found this video helpful and yeah this method is super easy for me and i feel like it really cleans up this part of my brow and everything and it just shapes them properly this one is just naturally dodgy i have a sparse area there that's because the lady who threaded me messed up my brow and now it doesn't even want to grow back so i just have to deal with that brow but anyways please give this video a thumbs up if you did like it and subscribe for more videos and i will see you in my next one bye